Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm excited to do because it's gonna be chatty, get ready with me using some new, new-ish and older makeup products. I really wanna dip into these two palettes. I recently picked up the Cinderella from Sigma and I really love some of the cooler tones that are here. I do have some new eyebrow products that I recently purchased on the 21 Days of Beauty. And I also wanted to share our recent trip with you. We went to Destin in Florida and as in my previous vacation video, I will be inserting some videos and images here as I do my makeup and talk about it. Of course, as I apply my makeup, I will be also talking about all the products. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Eve. I love all things beauty. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. And if you enjoy this video, give it a like. It does help my channel out. And without further ado, let's dive in. For my primer, I'd like to use this Halo Glow liquid filter from e.l.f. Uh, this is basically a like a glow booster. This product was was launched and it came like a firestorm in the beauty community. I have mine in a shade Fair One. This is a really nice glass packaging, really a big doe foot applicator. I've already tried it on my own time. However, this is my first time trying it on camera. I also picked up a set of three brushes and this is a brush that is kind of a flattened but also stippling right here and it's meant for a potty blush. Yeah, I actually like using it with this product. As you guys can see, I'm only applying it to the areas where I would normally highlight even though this product has a really nice consistency. Very thin and it's not sticky. This product Product's supposed to give you a little bit of coverage. I do not see coverage, you guys. Um, and right now I do have some freckles here, so it would be noticeable if that was coverage. I feel like it just kind of melts into my skin. It looks beautiful. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury glowy product that I personally never tried. So, so far I like it. Um, I think it was definitely worth the hype. I'm gonna be using this Even Better Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF by Clinique. I don't believe I've ever used this foundation on camera, but you guys, I love Clinique complexion products. It does give you a really nice coverage and a smoothing effect. So I'm actually gonna use this uh, plate right here so I don't over apply and just use my sponge. This foundation also builds up, you guys. And like all Clinique products, it's also fragrance free, which I absolutely loved. So while I'm blending my foundation, let me tell you about our vacation. For Labor Day, we had four day weekend, right? We were not working on Monday. So we really wanted to get out of town for the long weekend and go somewhere around the beach be on the water. We didn't want to go to a place that was too crowded or too bougie. We just kind of wanted something relaxing, a uh, low key kind of a vibe. And actually a friend of ours recommended us to look into Destin. And honestly, I've lived uh, in Florida for the last, what, two and a half years. And I've never heard about Destin. For my concealer, I'm using Faux Filter by Huda Beauty. I have been really loving this concealer, you guys. This gives you a really high coverage. It's white thin formula blends out effortlessly and also lasts all day and it also sets itself pretty well if you don't like powdering down your under eyes you don't have to but this one's beautiful i love it um so we ended up going to destin for basically from friday to monday because it took us uh, roughly about four to five hours to get there so we were also driving our electric car that needed to be charged so that kind of added to the time that we had to like make those stops for charging to set my under eyes i'm gonna use this bye bye pores by it cosmetics this is an amazing powder for your under eye area very thin and you can see my pan right here. We didn't want to stay in the hotel because we really wanted privacy. We wanted like our own separate place. We stayed in a very beautiful Airbnb. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use this camo powder foundation from e.l.f. I finally got my shade right, you guys. And this is a Fair 150C. You remember earlier in this year, I purchased it and it was like way too light for me. So I had to wait for a better time to repurchase it. I really like this. This has a really good coverage and a really nice finish. Doesn't look cakey on skin. So that um, Airbnb resort had a private beach. You guys, when I tell you the sand was like whitest white that I've ever seen in my life, I think I've seen the white sand like this in Bahamas like many years ago when I went for vacation. But the main beach in the clear water in Florida also has a beautiful white sand, but just that main area. But this was literally everywhere you went, it had this beautiful white beach. For my bronzer, I'm gonna use my new, uh, what is it called, infallible 
fresh wear bronzer these were just recently launched and i didn't really pick it up right away so mine is in the shade 250 a light two lightest shades i think it was 200 and 250 and i think the one that's right next to it was a little bit more with a pink undertone so i picked the one that is a little bit more like on a neutral side but they were like really really close i actually had to buy this in the store because online i could not tell the difference between those two shades this goes on skin so beautiful you guys beautiful matte finish it does also give you kind of like extra coverage so destin is known for few things of course it's beach because the beach is that beautiful white sand and the other thing is the crab island i will be talking more in details about crab island in just a moment entertainment and the food the food is fantastic you guys because of its location it's known for its seafood like the food was absolutely the most fresh and delicious they have several large oyster houses like restaurants in the area and they primarily located on the main strip with a water view so most of those places open for like lunch and then at five o'clock i think they start their dinner if you really want to get to an oyster house or one of those like main seafood restaurants you need to be there at five o'clock or like 4 30 for your dinner so none of the restaurants take reservations everybody would have a like live wait line so you would have to get there and put yourself on a line they would not do it over the phone either so you kind of have to show up there in person and add yourself to a waiting list and when i tell you when we got there at six o'clock the wait list was for three hours and the place would close at like 9 30 so we were like well by the time is our turn the restaurant will be closed so why wouldn't you just tell us that you guys are sold out so if you really wanted to go somewhere you needed to go early or you will just have to like eat somewhere else off off of those main areas there are plenty of restaurants there that you can really go and there's really no lack of food places which is like very important to me i'm a huge foodie especially when we travel so also in destin there are several locations for donuts the donuts were so good they had all these like mini donuts they were small size like and they would literally make them for you you would fill out this little paper where you'd say what you want and how many of which donut you want and they would literally fry it in front of you it's like a family-owned business so the gentleman was like taking orders at the register and his wife was making all these donuts it was the cutest thing they were so attentive it was super cute and then we really enjoyed it they had like coffees and stuff but the donuts were like so good so for my blush i'm gonna use my newer edition this is by clinique chic pop in the shade 10 fig pop i wanted this blush for so long you guys how cute so this is kind of like that mauvey pink a shade however it has a little bit of glow this blush is firmly pressed you really need to gem your brush into it as far as entertainment you guys so it is a family friendly area definitely there are a bunch of arcades ice cream shops and mini golf everything is kind of located on this main street which is like a main highway so and you really can't get lost if you really just go there and you don't know what to do once you get in your car and just start driving everything is visible from both sides of the road and we actually ended up going to this place that like i haven't been to one of these in for years it's kind of like those um, electric carts they had this huge one that would go in like four levels up and it's all made out of like wood and stuff it makes so much noise guys for my highlighter i'm gonna dip into my natasha denona glam palette this is like my favorite highlighter of all times so i'm actually after this video i'm gonna be filming a ranking of my face palettes so stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe to this video so you don't miss out on that one i've done uh, several rankings already my blushes and bronzers and my face palettes would be next we had so much fun on those go karts it just felt like such a throwback and um and we had a blast i'm gonna start framing my eyebrows i'm gonna use these three products that i picked up on ulta 21 days of beauty they're all three from too faced so they have a pomade and pencil. I have a super fine brow detailer and then a brow wig. This is like a tinted brow gel mascara. All these are in the shade soft brown. Shade works perfectly for me. This pencil, this is a pomade in a pencil. You guys, this pencil only goes up. So you just want to take out a very tiny bit. Both of the pencils also have a spoolie brushes on the other end, which I love and they are really nice and soft. <laughs> so there was also this ice cream shop. I think they had like several locations, like three locations in the entire Destin, like on that main strip that you can go to. 
And guys, that ice cream was so delicious. We went there pretty much every single night and um, yeah, no regrets, no regrets. I love ice cream. One thing that I briefly wanted to mention, if you travel with the electric car, you guys, there is no charging station within Destin area. So the closest one is about 30 minutes towards Tallahassee and there is another location but like more north about 25 minutes just something to consider okay so about the crab island it was definitely a highlight of the entire trip how fun you guys so the entire destin is pretty much known for the crab island okay if you go to Destin, you didn't go to Crab Island, you did not go to Destin. This is the main thing to do there. And it is really not an island. There is no island, you guys. It's just a very, very shallow, sandy area, and it's quite large. So people go there on whatever, like boats, you can paddleboard there, you can jet ski, you can get there pretty easily. There are also multiple locations where you can rent whatever you wanna rent, like jet ski, paddleboard, different boats, things like that. I will leave some of the links for you in the description box. So we ended up renting a boat and a very popular boats there, it's called Pontoon. I've never been on one and I thought it was kind of like strangely looking at first, but once you're on it, it's super comfortable. It can fit up to 12 people. A few things to know about the Crab Island, that there are no bathrooms. They have this floatable food trucks where you can buy food. They are privately owned food trucks, so you don't get the same food truck every time you go, if you go often. It was actually decent food if you were hungry, but most people just pack their own stuff. A lot of people just go there for the entire day. Uh, if you're renting from a private person, from a private like boat renter, you can do it by hours. I think some would uh, limit you to like two hours minimum or three hours minimum and then it goes by hour but if you are renting from this like larger companies they usually give you the boats from four hours to eight hours so it's basically half a day or a full day the prime time when everybody gets there is around 9 30 and 10 so we ended up getting the pontoon boat we did a half a day of renting and i can tell you for two people even i would say for up to six people half a day is plenty. These are such good products. I'm so happy I get my hands on this. Um, okay, guys, let's get into the eyes. Let me do some swatches. So these are the shades that I would like to use today. And this is gonna be the range. And of course, I'm gonna put some shimmers on my eye. These three are from Cinderella palette. And these two are from a Nabla palette. So about the boats and something to pay attention to. So the places that you would primarily rent this boats from, they do not include the captain. Once you get, get to Crab Island, so it's really fun to be there on the water because it gets as deep as your waistline and probably up to your hip. I'm a 5'7 also, so it was like up to the waist or to my hips depending on where you go. The water, guys, was so clear. You can just really see where you're going. There's also fish, pretty significant size of fish too. I'm gonna use a Refer 03, it's a pencil brush. I recently just picked up this on their sale when they had buy one, get one free. God, I understand now what the hype is about all these brushes because they're just truly amazing. So when you get there, obviously you can be on the water. I recommend you bring your floating devices as many as many people you guys come with because everybody's going to be on the water and everybody wants to float believe me when i say that even the people that don't like inflatable floating things they still want to be on your float once they see you doing that you absolutely must bring sunscreen the sun was a very very strong of course you need to bring food and drinks even at first we thought that we're going to be there only for half a day and we only need this much food when you're on the water and when you're doing all those like activities and swimming and playing and stuff you get hungry so bring food that's easy to eat on my eyelid i'm gonna go with this beautiful shade called sweet nightingale oh look how beautiful this is oh my god giving me like mermaid vibes another thing to bring with you guys is a rope if your boat rental place does not provide that i uh, just make sure you keep that in mind for yourself you would need a rope or two or five to attach your floating devices to your boat because they will float away. There is a somewhat strong current there in that area. You will anchor your boat, obviously, but your floating devices may drift away. So just uh, think of that ahead of time. Um, I'm going into the shade Wishful from Cinderella Palette for my inner corner. So being on a boat was definitely really fun and being on the island is super fun. People playing like some music there. It definitely feels like a beach party slash your backyard party, but super low 
silky, very cool, but you're like in the middle of the water and everybody's like standing and walking, super cool. So I also wanted to share with you a little bit of a dining experience while I'm finishing up on the rest of my makeup. Or the whole entire vibe of Destin is definitely more casual. Even at nighttime, people do not really dress up. It's more of like a casual dress up in a way. Uh, so this is kind of like what we wanted. We didn't want to like bother with all this like outfits and high heels and makeup and whatever. I actually took very minimal makeup with me. Everything fit in like this small makeup bag because I knew I did not want to do makeup while being on a beach. That was a primary purpose. However, we still ended up going to uh, really a few nice places to eat. There is really a nice upscale place that's uh, located on the Henderson Beach. Henderson Beach is a property of the Henderson Inn, which is kind of like a, one of the oldest like in hotels there. There is a hotel and they have this very, really nice restaurant. So they do take reservations. They have a very beautiful beach. It is more of like an upscale restaurant and a very nice ambience. They have this beautiful deck that's looking out on the beach. We really enjoy our food. They have a small menu, but it's absolutely delicious. The food was really, really good. The service was really nice. Guys, I thought I was going to try new lashes, but now I overdid my mascara. So I don't think I'm going to be putting any lashes because this still a huge mascara is giving me false lash effect. So I don't need any lashes. I'll be trying them in a different video. They have this beautiful deck and also a bar. You can actually watch a really beautiful sunset there. If you're like one of those romantic people, you know, I am. So I kind of like those things. I always try to catch a beautiful sunset if there is an opportunity. I wanted to do something on my waterline, but I won't be able to talk while I'm doing it. I want to show you this new pencil that I picked up. It's a quick liner for eyes from Clinique. This is in the shade 04 Slate. This pencil is so good, you guys. I think I got it on 21 Days of Beauty also. Goes on the waterline really nicely, but it also goes on your lids really nicely. It does not budge, does not smudge. Love this. I wore this the other day as my eyeliner no smudging the entire day i put this juvia's place a duo everything will be linked for in the description box okay guys so this is the makeup look i loved everything that i used today all these products were fantastic i literally loved everything including the new brushes that i picked up from refer i hope you enjoy watching me creating this look if you guys are looking for a vacation destination in warm florida with this absolutely beautiful white sand beach and crab island of course that is a super fun destination definitely check out Destin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumb up. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, I invite you to do so. Thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me today. And I will see my next videos. Bye.